Hi, my name is Aubrey. I'm a certified veterinary technician at Cardiology Northwest, and I'm here to show you a few different ways to administer medications to your pets. Um, our heart patients often need multiple medications multiple times a day, and it is important for them to get those for overall health and well-being. It can be difficult and daunting sometimes, especially if you've never given medications or you're new to giving medications to your pet, but we have some easy tips to make it easy and fun for both you and your animal. The first option I'm going to talk about in my favorite way in particular is giving medication in treats, making it fun for you and rewarding for your pet. Um, some of those options would be um, a Greenies pill pocket, which is easy to wrap around the pill and it tastes good. They come in all different flavors. There's also a pill wrap. It's easy to use and easy to give. Um, other things would be human foods such as cream cheese, honey, baby food, and peanut butter. Be conscious when you're using these though, you may want to check the labels for any xylitol. Um, also check for sodium content. Um, some of these products do have higher sodium, but you want to watch that. If you need to use these to give the medication, make sure you're just using a little bit, just enough to cover the pill to get the medication down. Now I'm going to demonstrate a few different ways to administer medications. We're going to start with Porter here and we're going to start with treats, the easiest and most fun way to give medication. So you'll want to take your pill and some kind of treat like a pill pocket or pill wrap. Um, take a little piece of the pill pocket. You don't need the whole pill pocket, they're too big. And just wrap your pill in the pill pocket. And then you just give your medication. It's that easy. The second way I'm going to demonstrate is how to give a pill by hand pilling. We're going to use Porter here again for this demonstration. And this is easy to do if your dog or cat is not eating their food or is just too wise to you covering it with tasty goodies. Um, I still like to cover it with something good just to make sure that they're not associating me with negative things. So with your dog or cat, you want to place your less dominant hand on the top of the muzzle right behind the canines with your thumb and middle finger. And then you want to use your other hand to drop the jaw down. You want to place your pill as far back in the throat as you can. Close the mouth and just rub the throat and wait till they swallow and then you're done. Now I'm going to demonstrate another option with maybe a more fractious dog or cat that doesn't like getting pills or is a little harder to pill. Um, you, you want to take your pill, put it in the end of your pill popper. I also put something tasty on here just to make it more of a positive experience for Porter. Porter, come here, sit up. Good girl. You want to do the same technique with your less dominant hand and grab behind the canines Drop that jaw down and pop your pill popper all the way in the back and squeeze the plunger. Here to help us demonstrate a couple techniques on pilling a cat is Marty. He's maybe cooperative, he may not. Um, cats can be a little bit more in particular and so they can be a little bit more difficult to pill than dogs. So we'll show you a couple different ways um, to do them. We're going to use a pill popper today and put our capsule in the end of the pill popper and we will do the easy way first. We'll see how he does and he's going to try and use his feet so just watch your hands. This is where a pill popper comes in handy. Stick it all the way in the back and be pretty quick and there we go. Alright so the second way I'm going to show you today is with a gentle scruff. Um, this can be used with cats that are a little bit more fractious or agitated with getting pills. Um, so you'll want to just scruff him right behind the ears here and just lift his neck up a little bit. Use your pill gun to try and open the mouth and pop it all the way in the back. And there we go. Good boy, Marty. Good boy. Neither of these options work for you. There's also the option of getting your medications compounded through uh, pharmacies such as Northwest Compounders. They can also make this into a flavored liquid that is also easier to administer than pills to your cat or dog. Thank you for watching this short video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions or concerns or you need some direction in giving medications to your pets, please feel free to contact us or your primary care veterinarian for further direction or ideas that they may have. See you next time.